Visit Milwaukee. It's that time of the week. They are here to help us plan out the weekend. Claire Koenig joins us now from Visit Milwaukee. Claire, let's start with food. That's my favorite pastime. And, and the way I understand it is Black Restaurant Week is still going on. Yes, it is the tail end. Saturday is when it ends. There are about 20 Black-owned restaurants participating in Black Restaurant Week. The whole point is to celebrate Black-owned restaurants and bring awareness to them and the wonderful array of culinary offerings that they have. So anyways, get to one of those restaurants. There's a list on their website. I know there's a lot, but any ones that come to mind right away? I love Irie Zulu, Funky Fresh Spring Rolls, which is in Sherman Phoenix. They're like the best things um, you could eat. So, and they're they're at those night markets downtown too. They're amazing. So Easter Sunday coming up. Uh, yeah. The Dome's expected to be a popular place. The Dome's, they always are for Easter, but they will be more so, I think, because in the show dome, there's a Japanese Zen garden theme. So they have traditional Japanese plants. They have these things called kokodama, um, which is like a ball of soil with a plant coming out of the middle. Um, and then cherry blossoms. We are not Washington, D.C., but the cherry blossoms will be in full bloom this weekend at the domes. Uh, any places in mind when you're thinking about maybe an Easter brunch? Especially if you don't want to cook that Easter brunch <laughs> yourself. Um, the Milwaukee Art Museum has a really cool option. They have a what I would think is a very chic buffet. Um, and then all of the Bartolotta restaurants are rolling out the red carpet. So again, pick your neighborhood Bartolotta restaurant, pick your favorite one. They will have an Easter brunch for you. So right down the street from the Art Museum, we've also got Robotics Week at Discovery World. This mm -hmm. sounds really cool. Um, what can you tell us about what's going on there? Super cool. So it just started um, and it celebrates all things robots. There will be tons of robots at Discovery World. Some of these made by high school students, college students, and then professionally made like industrial robots. But you get to learn about all of them um, if you check it out. So cooking the Easter brunch wouldn't be bad if you can get one of the robots to do it. Exactly. <laughs> right. Combine all these things. <laughs> uh, and then last thing, uh, we got some uh, great stuff going on at the Rep. Yep. Okay. So August Wilson's Two Trains Running opens this weekend at the Rep. Um, he was one of the most prolific playwrights of the modern century. Um, it, he and his plays are all about the African American experience. This one is no different. It's about a diner owner in Pittsburgh right at the end of the civil rights movement. Um, and he's deciding whether or not he should sell his diner for an urban renewal project. Claire, thank you so much for being of here. Of course, for more information on everything happening this weekend, you can head to our website. That's TMJ4.com.